It is normal for humans to have lofty plans, but in reality, it is not every plan that comes to fruition as different variables affect the actualization of such goals. Nigeria is undoubtedly the most populous African country with its human resources always setting personal and collective goals. However, it isn't all of such plans that usually see the light of the day as economic and social factors could at times serve as an albatross to the actualization of such objectives. As the country exits the year 2022, top accolade news took to the streets to ask pertinent questions about failed plans in the outgoing year. A civil servant resident in Abuja, Peter Demawa, says he was able to achieve his personal goals in 2022. He, however, said his plans at work are yet to materialize, but there are concerted efforts being put in place to make the result positive. Another civil servant, Alfred Ode, who has clocked 32 years in service, told a different story as he pointed out how he couldn't achieve some personal objectives due to the harsh economy. Nevertheless, he is hopeful that the situation would change in 2023. The plans in 2022, I was able to get them. The, the one that we were planning, not me alone, we were planning as an organization, an association, to create a new the 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 new association in in, in the service scheme tied to health management and policy which is a new health professional association that when established it can help the government and the participants in producing more policies that are beneficial to to the health sector in the country it is that that have not been achieved but we know that by the grace of God, the next year, the next uh, national, uh, national council establishment, we, are able to, we will be able to package better and then we will we'll come up better in such a way that it will, it will be beneficial to both our, uh, more especially the coming youth, the people, uh, because when it's created, it will cut a plus both the civil service and the public service. I had plans to, to build uh, one or two houses for rent and uh, improve on my children's uh, educational uh, uh, welfare and uh, even the, the ones in primary and, and secondary and in the university. But things did not work out so well because of the inflation and spiraling prices of uh, commodities, food items, transportation. So the money I budgeted to use for all that, uh, because of the inflation, I could not meet all my expectations. Yes, and uh, I'm praying to God that uh, this year, as we are entering 2023, three, uh, we pray that we get a president who will listen to the people, who will, who will be pro-masses, not for the few rich people, who, who gang up to rape Nigeria. And because of that, Nigerians are not having the benefit of dividends or benefits of democracy. And a lot of Nigerians are suffering. And Nigeria is one of the poorest countries. And we have a lot of resources that everybody should benefit. An entrepreneur, Gladys Oputa, narrated how her lofty plans of creating a skill acquisition center did not work out due to an unforeseen circumstance. She called on the Nigerian government to create more jobs and skill acquisition centers for its citizens, like she attempted. Actually, the plans I, I had this year that didn't work out was um, like having a center for skill acquisition for kids to learn so many things. But due to um, robbers that stole the, the little ones I had, so it didn't work out. So I was also planning to have new ones next year so the children can come over and start learning i'm not against anyone that will be in power next year but what i know is that what i think is that that will be okay for nigerians is just that the government for nigeria government sorry is that they should just make a way where there will be something like employment and also centers where people can also learn skills because this time around i don't think that certificates works like it normally works in those days and it is matter of man no man who you know that we be able to get you a job but this time around with a little handwork just one i have now you can see my back that i was trying to get 
that I was able to make, to meet ends meet and also make something for myself and my family too. Nigeria's population is 211.4 million, according to 2021 estimates, with its unemployment rate galloping at 33%, while its inflation rate is pegged at 21.47%. In Abuja, Nigeria's capital, Abiodun Mohamed, Top Accolade News.